Why, hello there. It's me, Angel, in a new swivel chair, office chair. Don't even look at my background too much yet because it's not done, okay? Calm down. Program hasn't started yet. Actually, yeah, it's already started, but it's not yet done, so it's it's a teaser, okay? This shirt is like such a weird size. Anyway, before we start, I would like to note that I am not a minimalist. If you are here looking for some minimalist inspo, you're not gonna get it from me, babes. I'm actually quite the opposite. I am like an extraist, and I already know that somebody's gonna comment something like, oh my god, you should have done this and you should have done that okay listen up <laughs> are you gonna be the one who's sleeping here no you are not and if i wanted your in wait shit and if i wanted your interior design advice i would have freaking hired you so please unless you pay my bills do you pay my telephone bills do you pay my shoppy bills i don't think you do so don't tell me what to freaking do Okay, bit. So the ongoing theme of this room is like vintage and to see hot girl witch cottage vibe. That's what we're going for. Very like, I'm the main character. Like I go outside and I frolic in the woods sometimes and I have like, I'm like friends with the deer or the rats or something. That's just, that's, that's, that's. That's what I want. At the end of this video, I'm gonna be doing a final room tour so you can see like how each of like the DIYs and how all of the things I did actually like came together. So I already know that a lot of you people are just gonna skip to the last part to see how it looks overall. So here's the time frame to make your life easier. Even though I would appreciate if you actually, you know, saw the process because it's a pretty long and tedious process. To the three people that are gonna watch the entire video, thank you so much, man. I hope that the universe brings you so much prosperity and i also hope that something really bad happens to your ex unless your ex is me in that case life right now is a movie ah yeah wish the soundtrack was groovy too bad i'm frustrated i would also just like to warn you that i'm going to completely blow your mind but don't be insecure you too can be a creative genius like me if you use Skillshare. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. <laughs> Everything I said was just a joke, okay? That was just for the sake of the segue. Skillshare is a wonderful, beautiful online learning community where people get to improve their creativity. They offer thousands of classes for people who are curious and creative. A lot of these classes include illustration, design, photography, video. They're, they even have business-related stuff. They have everything. To prepare myself for this room transformation journey of mine, I watched Lauren Cox. I hope I'm saying that last name correctly. I watched her class on interior design. Interior design basics, simple steps to your perfect space. Just to give me like a formal background on what I am getting myself into. I also took Rose Sprinkles class on interior design, interior decorate like a boss. Her class was really helpful in the step-by-step -step process of actually going into your designing. You can also try Skillshare's new live classes where you can experience real-time inspiration as as you connect with popular teachers while watching and working along with other members. And you are so welcome because the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click the link down below will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. So click the link down below so you can become a Skillshare member today! The before. <laughs> this is really such a mess. <laughs> it's so embarrassing, but I hate that couch. I'm gonna get rid of that fucking couch. Yay! The mess that is happening. Those are a bunch of presents. Oh my god. There's these. Oh, I'm so done with this. Okay, so before some of y'all start judging me, I want to know that this was never actually my room. This is actually my older sister's room. And she moved to the US like more than a year ago. So a lot of the things were just like stored here. I also didn't have a place to store any of my stuff in here because as I said, technically it isn't even my room. So that's why they're just like all over the place. However, this is the most that I have to actually having my own room. And I've never actually had my own room. I kind of just like squat everywhere in the house. Also, this was taken after Christmas season so there's like a huge mess of some presents and all that shit but my sister gave me permission to make this a little project therefore here I am working on this room I just finished filming a video and I'm filming another one right now because the hustle never stops I guess Miniso sent me this huge box of their items thank you so much Miniso and I'm gonna be using this for my room I'm gonna try to do this as quick as possible because my sister has a meeting <laughs> yeah yeah I feel like I'm a peak influencer now getting huge boxes like this I'm in my pajamas by the way sorry if this is a weird angle oh 
oh, we need more toilet paper. Somebody out there that needs toilet paper. From Charmin to generic. All of those who oppose say I. I. <laughs> Huge package from Miniso. Yeah. Miniso is actually like my holy grail for when I have to get presents for people because everything is literally there. And they also have a website. You guys should check out their website and get all your shit. Oh, there. Ah! Woo! Cotton swabs. Okay, I got black cotton swabs <laughs> because I want to see like the deep depths of my earwax. That sounds disgusting, but next one we have is some pink cotton pads because my cotton pad sheets were running out and I recently bought like an exfoliator. So I'm excited to use that mostly because it's pink. <laughs> this one. Jumping jack. Oh, jumping jacks. No, jump rope. A jump rope because it looks fun and I want to work out and I wanted it to be pink. We don't have a jump rope. Next one is these cleansing wipes. I have like a lot of makeup wipes that I don't use because apparently makeup wipes are bad for your skin. So I use them to like clean every single surface. So I'm happy that I have this one, like actual cleansing wipes, like for different areas. I think this is the most useful thing in the world. If you don't have one, you should go get one or you should go throw away all of your makeup wipes because apparently they're really bad for your skin. Speaking of makeup wipes, I also got makeup wipes. Wow. <laughs> because this is actually just free though, but they just like sent me these makeup wipes for the sake of like reaching the limit and stuff, but I'm not gonna use it for makeup though. <laughs> I'm probably just gonna use it on surfaces. They also got me some hand sanitizer. Okay, that's the first bag. Second bag. Oh, well, these are facial, our facial brushes. So I got mine in pink and I got hers in purple. <laughs> yeah. Did you not remember I said that I would get this? Oh, those are called facial brushes? I think so. Electrical facial cleansing brush. You focus camera raw. Focus. Oh, there. See, ta-da. It's those facial brushes so that, I don't know, you feel like your skin is way more cleansed than it usually is. And I also got it in pink. Hee hee hee. Oh my god, so cute, so fun. Honestly, I did not expect this to be super big. I thought they were just gonna be regular measuring cups, but it makes sense. There's like eight pieces of them, which is a lot. Very useful. And they're also really cute. I like the colors. Next bag. Oh, here's a mouse. A wireless mouse because my fingers be hurting already. Tiny little microphone. I saw Joanna. Yeah, she also has like a tiny microphone. Do I should probably use it right now? Actually, no, I can't use it right now. I have to test it out first. But but I'm gonna be using this in some videos. Okay, I'm back and I'm wearing a frog hat. I was supposed to wear this for a video, but I don't even know if that video is gonna come out ever. But look at me in my freaking frog hat. Isn't it beautiful? It's not part of the haul though. Anyway, oh, I also got a flashlight for emergency purposes. I don't know in case somebody kidnaps me or something. Not that it'll protect me, but. Ta da! Yeah. <gasps> Ooh! I look like I'm a scout right now. Anyway. Yeah, if you're not in the Philippines, there's like so much storms right now. Actually really terrifying. So it's only a matter of time as to when the electricity is going to be cut off. Oh, also I got matcha here. It really isn't part of the haul, but look at my green theme. <laughs> Measuring spoons because I thought we didn't have any. Turns out we have a lot, but anyway, cuter colors, so could still be handy if I'm feeling cute. We don't do normal cups in here, we have to have cute cups. I also got a tripod for my TikTok video. <laughs> I'm a new TikToker. If you don't follow me on TikTok, please don't follow me on TikTok. It's embarrassing. See, it's a tripod for the phone. It can be like. Renegade, 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 Renegade. Oh, I also bought like eyebrow things because well, I already have my own like eyebrow routine, but it's kind of taking a long time because I have to like wet my brush and all that stuff. So I want to try doing the, an actual eyebrow pencil. Why am I saying this? Literally nobody cares. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> So I got this dinosaur, it's actually for my boyfriend. It's actually pretty big. I didn't expect it to be this big. Look, there's a dinosaur and a toad. Are you doing children's show now? <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah, it actually does look like I'm doing a children's show. Hey, kids. But yeah, that's all. That is all that we have for our Minnesota haul. Thank you so much to Minnesota for sending me all these stuff. I truly appreciate them. Go check out Minnesota. Um, their website is going to be linked down below. <laughs> okay, that's it. Bye. My freaking wallpaper. You know I would get like a freaking hate comment. They'd be like, fix your fucking wallpaper. So I moved away all my stuff and got two types of glue. So I found this like glue in a tube. And I also got some rice glue. For the glue in a tube, honestly, it wasn't even enough to fill like two strips of wallpaper gaps. Like one tube was just like one line of wallpaper. I also used a credit card just to smooth it out when the glue is there already. Honestly, this takes so much time. Fun, fun, fun. I've never been this tall before. 
I know that this is just like a small cut of videos, but it's such a long, agonizing process. I really don't know what I'm doing. Like, can you tell? Like, this is like... I did it like this, so I can like kind of do it in half like I would measure it, but... <laughs> has a time bro so for the rice glue i just like halved all of the measurements for it and then put it in this freaking almond jar mixing glue has taken a lot longer than i had anticipated and then used a brush to apply it on the walls and pretty much the same technique just using a credit card I also decided to take out the wallpaper on the right side because like there are parts where the air conditioning just like soiled it completely and it was just like not nice and also I feel like it would be better to like not have the whole room like enclosed in wallpaper because it does feel like so small and less easy breezy easy breezy I don't know if that's the right term but I don't know I don't know if you know what I mean but it just makes like things look more open that way and not just like enclosed in this like floral thing I feel like it just opens up the room more so today is day, I don't know, of my makeup, oh wait, what, what am I saying? My real makeover, not really a makeover, it's not that big a deal, it's like a little revamp, I guess. See this beautiful mess, I'm showing it for the first time. Ta-da, I have a box over there, uh, it's not even mine, I stole it from my sister and there's like a jacket that's peeking through, it's a mess. So, so today the things that are on my to-do list is the frame, so I'm going to be, I'm going to be putting some like cool like a bunch of picture frames there like for vintage witchy vibes. There are some frames that I don't like the color of, so I'm going to be spray painting them in like this antique bronze color. These are the frames that I have right now. I didn't buy any of these. These are all like from my mom. Look at all these random white people in the frame. I'm also gonna finish my painting. Well, I don't know if I'm gonna finish it, but I am gonna do my painting. What else? 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 I don't know. I'm probably gonna remember it when I'm done. So, transition. Wow. Ew, what the heck was that? Okay, I'm gonna do it again. Wow. Before I started spray painting, I made sure to cover up the parts that were transparent or glass just to make sure I don't get brown paint all over them. Welcome to my garden, my dude Barry. If you guys are interested in what spray paint I use, everything is going to be linked down below. This is a metallic brown color. <gasps> so pretty and when they all dried up i just peeled away all of the paper that was covering the transparent parts of the frames i then traced the size of the frames into some scratch paper and then cut them out just to make sure i get like the right sizes i did this so that i can plan out like how i want the frames to like look on the wall like just to decrease the margin of error another thing i did was to use photoshop i took a photo of my wall that i can like easily manipulate them and edit them however i want and then just put the paper afterwards like in real life you know what i mean oh my god i'm such a genius i know afterwards i used like these sticky hooks that i bought online again it's gonna be linked down below and i just stuck them on my freaking wall cancer, i can be a sexy doctor and cure some sexy cancer again the final reveal will be at the end of the video <laughs> for suspense purposes desk area i hated the desk area so much because it was just filled with furniture that you just know doesn't belong there like it's just like it's just locked there we had some extra furniture and we just dropped it there so i decided to clean all of it out it was so dusty and so freaking gross <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying this, but it was so dusty and so freaking gross. So I'm switching out the desk and switching out that horrible brown cabinet for something else. I decided to go for some drawers, which I actually didn't really want these drawers, but you know, it is what it is. <laughs> also, the desk was so incredibly squeaky. You could not write on it without it being like an actual squeak machine. Like it feels like a rat has already like infested its way in there. I mean, there's no, obviously there's no rat. There's no way a rat could get inside a freaking desk like that, but you know, it's just like so squeaky and so horrible and i wanted to get rid of it so bad and so i did i moved a lot of the things that i stored into this drawer and moved it near the window area wow the room looks so big from the with this like fish eye stuff I also finally got rid of my $200 monoblock chair and, and replaced it with this velvety green office chair. Do we do it? Do we do it? Do we do some? It doesn't even go up. It's a scam. Oh shit! <laughs> 
hello now that i have my chair i also bought a table so this is a table i currently have it's like two two of those like foldable tables joined together which me and my sister tried but i hate it i don't like it so i bought a new one to match my beautiful little chair office chair yeah, and I'm gonna be building it right now. Also, I would like to say before I even forget, a lot of the shirts that I was wearing throughout this video is from Hiraya Filipina. Cleo, if you're watching this, I'm so sorry. I'm so late. I underestimated how long it would take to actually film a room makeover. So it's so late. But if you guys want to check out some of these statement shirts that I'm wearing throughout this video, you guys can go check out Hiraya Filipina. I'm going to be linking them down below. This one says, I have a vision because i do have a vision and it is this room hell yeah oh boy it also has something in the back do you see it do you see it oh no my hair is there do you see it do you see it beautiful gorgeous amazing um yeah Okay, so I'm gonna start building it. It's right here. It's so heavy. So I carried this with my sister and our helper because I was trying to hide it. Good thing my mom wasn't at home because she's gonna be so pissed if she found out I bought a table. Ha ha ha. Whatever, it's fine. I'm also gonna be doing a DIY because I don't like how the table originally looked. So I'm gonna make it like a little bit more vintage, a little bit more fun. And suits the room a little bit better compared to this modern thing. Look, it says quality control ass inspection. Cha, cha, cha. It's funny, Paris. Funny, thank you, gag. So I bought this desk online. Originally, it's supposed to look like this, but I'm not really into this design. I feel like it looks too modern. It looks like it's owned by like that kid in your class and he probably studies, but also he has like a sexual harassment allegation. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yes, that's how I would describe it. And also the tone of the wood was a lot cooler compared to the tone of the wood that you see in the rest of the room. So I really just needed to switch out the cool tone wood color that the desk originally had. So I I bought two types of wallpaper. There's a plain white one and a floral one. Floral one is a little bit more expensive, so the rest of it is just white wallpaper. And I'm also switching out the original black knobs for these vintagey cup knobs. I think it looks so much cuter that way and so much more feminine and suits the room so much better. First, I cleared out the vanity because there was like so much things going on in it and it looked really messy. It also never actually functioned as an actual vanity because you literally can't see yourself properly since there was like no light and it was against the window. I did have like a little light on top, but it wasn't at the most helpful angle and the light would always break for some reason. Every time it got fixed, it would keep breaking, which was really frustrating. At some point, I tried adding TikTok lights on it, but it wasn't bright enough. So I ended up just replacing the old mirror with a very fancy schmancy mirror that lit up. This is one of my most favorite purchases for the room. It truly sparks a joy love. Sound of your voice. For the first minor touches in the room, I got these bed suspender things to make sure the bed stayed snatched. Ah, did it help? I actually don't know. It took a lot of like wrestling. I also changed the sheets, but obviously these sheets are gonna be very different from what's gonna be revealed in the tour. Next, I made some of my artworks, which is my little gratitude. If you watch Big Mouth, you would know what this means. <laughs> I also found this round wood thingy online and painted over it several times because I couldn't figure out what I wanted, but then settled for a giant lotus tile like the one that Uncle Iroh has in Avatar. <laughs> Lastly, I learned this technique from Drew or Lone Fox where he mixed acrylic paint and baking soda together to make something look like it's ceramic even though it's not. And I did it on this elephant watering can and also this mug. And lastly, I added some lamps on each side of the bed and some TikTok lights which will be revealed at the end of this video. And now, I would like to call this portion, Angel is a fool and bought stuff that she didn't get to use because she couldn't make it work, so now she's doing an online garage sale. I'm not joking. Go follow at Angel's Garage Sale on Instagram because I'll be selling all the stuff there and y'all can just call dibs or whatever. Oh my god, support small businesses, I guess. And follow my actual Instagram if you want to because like, duh, why not? Please buy them. I'll even write you a postcard and sign it even though my signature isn't even worth much. But please 
Please, I feel so stupid for buying so much shit. First, we have this beautiful arced mirror. I'm actually super sad to let this go. I bought this because I thought I was gonna have the vanity near the window, but that plan didn't work out. This is the mirror that I always use for my mirror selfies, by the way. So it really is cute. That's why I bought it, but I have to let go of it because I already got myself a new mirror. Next, we have are these pegboards. So these are some stick on pegboards because I thought I was gonna make a pegboard wall, but again, I'm a fool and realized it wasn't gonna work. So I have 11 of these now. So in case you guys ever wanted a pegboard, these come in the color beige too. Vintage cup knobs. This is one of the dumbest things ever, but when I bought the cup knobs for my drawer, I thought they were selling them individually, so I ordered two, but turns out there's two in each like order. And now I just have two extra knobs because I didn't read the details. So if you guys want some vintage cup knobs or cup holes, then come get it from me, please. <laughs> Next, we have this booby clay can. So this beautiful booby thing. This was such an impulse buy, man. I just saw it in my feed and I was like, OMG, titties, and I bought it. But I didn't check the sizes and thought it would fit like my brushes and pencils and all that, but I was mistaken. And the same thing go for these sexy legs clay tray thing. I'm so sorry if the person who's selling this is like watching. I think your clay creations are amazing to the point of me purchasing it with zero brain cells involved. I love these pieces, but I think it just doesn't match my room needs right now and perhaps someone out there is more worthy of these life right now is a movie way too long to light up you're ruining my effect okay there grow grow see i have magical witch powers hey google turn on all lights that was my pet gremlin google so the first part of this beautiful tour is this beautiful gallery wall it consists of my beautiful frog painting his name is gratitude and some like butterflies the lotus tile right over there because avatar some paintings photos of me and my mom photos of me and my sister before it's a very funny picture that shows summarizes our relationship she's on holding the camera right now do you want to say hi Also, we have some crystals, all that stuff. Here, some silk pillows because only silk can touch our face when we sleep because we're that fancy. Also, a lot of people have been asking me, like, what the heck is this telephone for? It's not an actual telephone. It's like an intercom if you're, like, too lazy to call the other room. It's really stupid. Nobody uses it. It's probably broken anyway. We have this random made-up, but it's like a just a Greek man, and I stuck some flowers in him because I thought it looked pretty that way. And a lamp. On the other side, we also have a smart lamp that I can command Google with. A photo of my sister, <laughs> really young. And another candle. Wait, let's light that up. Let's light that up for funsies. Oh. Let me light it up. <laughs> Offer your candle to little me. Yeah. Um, we also got rid of the wallpaper. Oh, oh, wait, I forgot to mention. I fixed the entire wallpaper. Do you see that? That used to be like such a freaking mess. That random girl, I know your name is Selena or something. You commented on my photo and told me to fix my fucking wallpaper. Just know I didn't fix it for you. I fixed it for myself. <laughs> Next, we got rid of the wallpaper here because it was, it was really hopeless because there's like there's an air conditioning there and there's like water that dripped all over and like soiled the wallpaper. And also we had like some weird plasticky shower curtains type of curtains before. I don't know if you remember that, but, but it was really bad. And we changed these curtains for some for these for these curtains. And then we have this dresser. I'm going to be very open about your recommendations for this dresser because it is bothering me so much that this isn't even. Oh yeah. So if you have any DIY suggestions, please leave it down below. Thank you very much. And then we have some few displays of books that I totally did not read at all. And then we have some more candles, obviously. It's getting really hot in this room. I have to turn off the air condition because you're gonna hear it in the camera. It's gonna be bad. Next we have this beautiful elephant that is actually made out of plastic, but it low-key looks really cool. It looks like it was made out of, I forgot what it's called. So since I can't actually take care of anything that's actually alive i dried some flowers and put it over there as like a little vase i bought that watering can because i thought i was going to be a plantita but i can't i can't keep things alive i'm barely keeping myself alive next we have the beautiful desk area 
So we have this cart, which is full of a bunch of art supplies. Monitor, laptop, a stand for a laptop. This this man that I never actually use for my drawings. Another candle, speaker. We have this TV that I argued with my mom so that I couldn't freaking get it. Ha ha ha. And also dazzled because, oh my god, I'm such a gamer girl, even though I'm such a cottage girl, witch girl. I'm also like totally a gamer. Some TikTok lights all over it. And this beautiful green chair. I had like that model block chair, that plastic chair for so long. It was just not nice. So everything else is so fancy and you just have that plastic chair that reminds you about that time you graduated from high school and then your school like treated you like soldiers. You know those chairs and they just put like something over it to make it look... I'm talking way too much about a freaking chair. Anyway, we also have Google over here. Hey Google, tell me a joke. Why didn't the melons get married? Why? Because they cantaloupe. That was really bad. Next we have this beautiful part. I also put some dried flowers over here because for fun. I feel like it looks so empty, so I wanted to put like something on the jars. And now we have this beautiful vanity too. Oh, you're seeing you're so weird. So this is a beautiful freaking vanity. I got this beautiful freaking mirror over here that lights up. Also some candles, some wet wipes that, that I actually like. I wrapped it in wallpaper to make it look cute. And some makeup and like a little dish. This dish is from Antiquities, which is a shop that is owned by my friend. So you guys should go check it out in case you want to check them out. This actually used to have like a light over here, but it always gets like broken for some reason. Like every time, every after you get it fixed, it's gonna be freaking broken. And it's like so freaking frustrating. So I decided to get this like really pretty freaking vanity mirror. It's like my dream freaking mirror. I've always wanted to have a vanity vanity mirror, especially when I was like really so into makeup, but now I just like. I just wanted because I feel like super fancy and super cute with that. <laughs> and yeah, is that the end of it? I can't believe I summarized all that. It took so much work and that's all I said. That is all for my room tour and my room makeover. Please make sure to subscribe to my channel, please. It's the least you can do. I spent so much freaking money on this. So if all my money does not go back to me, I'm gonna be really pissed about it. Also, I'm gonna be selling some of these items. Follow me on Instagram so that you can find out how you can get those items because I spent so much money. Yeah, that's all. Please subscribe, please like. Also, please tell me how to fix that freaking drawer over there. I don't know how to do outros. Out Cause life right now is a movie. Oh, yeah. Where's the sound?